Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Today we're going to talk about Porter Rico by Arcadia Ales. This is a 5.5% ABV Porter. It's aroma. Overall it's chocolate and coconut. The appearance is dark brown verging on black with a fluffy light brown head. The flavor starts off with a big burst of coconut fading to allow notes of coffee and chocolate to come through. The mouthfeel, it, it's a medium-bodied beer that's on the lighter side of medium, and it's well carbonated. Overall, this beer, while good, can be a little overwhelming. It verges on sweet, but has enough bittering to knock the edge off. The coconut flavor, however, is very persistent, so if you don't like coconut, probably shouldn't drink this. Now let's go check out this gameplay by one of my clan mates. Alright, here we go. We've got a game on El Haluf by Toten. He's from Texas, as if you can't tell, the Toten TX. He's also a member of our clan, and apparently he hates system rename 9541. As you can tell, he's pre-aimed to shoot him down. Actually, just kidding. I'm sure he's not going to shoot him. My jokes are hilarious. Yes, I know. That's why you all keep coming back for more. So, since this thing is kind of slow, it's going to take him a minute to get into position, but he's going to the traditional spot where heavies go to kill each other over here. And he's got a lot of support, lots of heavy tanks with him. Both teams are pretty good. It looks like there's a, uh, a couple of Unicum guys from the FRI clan over on the enemy team in Scorpion G's. Um, quite a few tier 9s, four on each team it looks like, and several tier 8s and several tier seven so he's top tier at least he can bully the crap out of everybody and as we all know the VK4502B has trollish armor so we're getting almost towards position lots and lots of people have already been spotted um, we're just kind of trying to get up into where we can actually get into the action and now we wait if I was a better editor, I would totally put in some maybe Jeopardy music. Boo, doo, doo. Or is that... Oh, crap. I can't even remember my game shows now. So, IS-3 looks like it's going to be the first one to get shot at by Toten. Here we go. Pre-aimed on the corner. IS-3 looked hesitant. Oh, he's side-scraping, and it's still not enough. 532 damage on that first shot. Gotta love those big rolls from that 128 mil gun. Toten looks like he's gonna try to sit here and just tank some damage for a while. Uh, but we don't know how much the IS-3 is gonna want to pull out after that one. So, oh, we got a couple of op uh, the opportunities over here. Oh, T-54. Wow, I can't believe that didn't go into the side of his E-75. That one was both well done and stupid lucky so gotta love it what? oh another dk 4502b another nice big hit he's already up to 1500 damage done and he's only seen and been in contact with enemy tanks for a couple of moments here so he got tracked no damage done t44 drives out sideways in front of him it would be rude not to shoot him right so T-44 is one shot very easily now. Looks like he's trying to come out for more. Almost reloaded. He pulls back. Oh, well. We're going to have to shoot at something else. Like maybe this VK. Unfortunately, as he knows, the VK is really well armored on the front. Lots of bounces. Already 1,100 damage bounced. Just waiting for the right shot. Side of the turret. That was not that well angled, but somehow still bounced. I don't know how he did it, but that guy got lucky. So, just going to keep moving back and forth while we reload. Waiting for the opportunity. Bounce from the VK. Going for IS-3. Tracked him. Buddy killed him. That's one more out of the fight. Always, always a good choice. So, trying to make sure he stays moving. Keep his weak spots protected. VK looks like he's reloaded. Oh, he gets it right through the uh, cupola the commander's hatch and bounces the return shot from the VK. Waiting, waiting. We're gonna go for a track it looks like. Tracked him, no, oh, did not bounce that one. Still, we're over 3,000 damage now. Toten's been kicking butt and taking names. 
going for the next shot with HE because 76 hit points left and reload come on right in the gun done there it is that's the first kill for Toten so far this game his team's doing well they're all tied up at six and six we're gonna see if we can get that squared away here pretty quickly coming around this corner carefully gonna gonna angle well Ooh, is and shot Nice, that's two kills for Toten. Gotta love it when uh, low tier tanks make it easy. Emil 2, normally a very good tank. Unfortunately, this guy apparently doesn't realize that his turret is the strong point, not his hull. So he comes around sideways. Black Prince gets tracked out in front. Scorpion G, T-54, and Yag Tiger. Not sure which one of them got him, but not horribly surprised. It's unfortunate when you're bottom tier like that. Yag Tiger finally takes some damage. Toten, of course, bouncing. Already bounced 3,700 damage, up to 4,000 damage done now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Surprising that it's only two kills with 4,000 damage, but considering how many different people he's shot so far. Here we go, and bounce and hit again. Gotta love it. So, moving back and forth, trying to make sure that uh, he's not going to get any easy shots. We're going to move this Churchill a little bit so that he's out of the way so we can come around at a better angle around this corner. Gotta say, Toten's doing a great job so far. He's only down 500 hit points, give or take. Oh, back inside of a T-54. He looks like he should be one shot, but no, 22 hit points. Oh my gosh, that's a real bummer. That would have been a useful kill. The team is up 11 to seven though. Oh, not quite angled enough. That Yag Tiger finally found a weak spot and was able to do some damage. So now, Toten's at about half health. Um, just trying to make sure that those shots are bitten, being put into the Yag Tiger. Kill him, take him down. The Spare Panzer has the side of the Yag Tiger, and Toten's going to take those last 22 hit points from the T 54. Scores 13 to 7. Yag Tiger's coming around for another shot. Oop, bounces, and will Toten reload in time to steal the kill? Yes, he will. <laughs> so. Just one tank left on the enemy team, the T-29, and there he is. He's spotted, takes two hits, and he's down. Can't wait to see the stats on this one. Great game, Toten. Ace tanker, steel wall, high caliber. Yeah, you were top tier, but it was also a tier 9 match. Really well done. 5,200 damage done, almost four kills, 1,400 base XP. Really, really good game. Out of your 18 shots fired, you hit all 18, penetrated 14 of them. Really good. And some of those were pretty tough targets, so completely understandable, especially shooting at your VK4502 equal number on the enemy team. You got hit 13 times, only two of those penetrated, blocking 4,850 damage. Talk about tanking. I mean, just taking the damage and saying, nope, you, you can't handle this. You, you damage seven, four destroyed, 1,276 assistance damage. That's really great. Running a premium account, you made 95,000 credits profit. That's awesome. And 4,254 total credits made. Re really awesome job, Toten. If you guys enjoyed this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And like Toten asked last week, um, if you guys have a replay that you're interested in, in having me feature, make sure that it's whatever the latest patch is. I'll try to get to it if I can. Put it in the comments section below. Please, once again, like, comment, subscribe. really helps the channel out. Hope to bring you guys some more good stuff in the near future. Have a good one.